this problem we have to find the derivative of this function. So we're going to need this formula. If you take the derivative with respect to x of the inverse hyperbolic cotangent function, the formula for this is 1 over 1 minus x squared. And in this formula, um, you know, the absolute value of x is bigger than 1. It's very similar to the 1 for tangent. It's actually the same, except for tangent, the absolute value of x has to be uh, less than 1. In any case, we're going to use this formula here, and we're going to use the chain rule. So basically, we're going to take the derivative of the outside function, so we'll apply this formula, and then we'll multiply by the derivative of the inside. So dy dx is equal to 1 over so the derivative of the outside, 1 minus secant squared of x, times the derivative of the inside, which is the derivative of secant, which is secant tangent. So again, uh, take the derivative of the outside, so you apply this formula, leave the inside untouched, and then um, multiply by the derivative of secant, which is secant tangent. So this is equal to secant x tangent x over 1 minus secant squared x. Now we might be able to simplify this. Um, I haven't thought about it too much. Let's go to the side here and think about it. 1 plus tan squared is equal to secant squared of x. So that means that um, if you subtract 1 from both sides, you get tangent of tan, tan squared is equal to secant squared minus 1. So here we have 1 minus secant squared. So if you multiply by negative 1, that gives us negative tan squared equals 1 minus secant squared. Yeah, okay, so the bottom can be replaced with that. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. So secant x tangent x over uh, negative, negative tangent squared. So we can certainly do that. It's not really necessary. We could have stopped there, I suppose. We lose a tangent here, so this is going to be, uh, let's see, negative secant x over tangent x. And we can stop here, or we can try to keep simplifying. Let's keep going, see what happens just for fun. Secant is 1 over cosine. And tangent is sine over cosine. And let's see, whenever we have two fractions and we're dividing them, we're really multiplying by the reciprocal. So dy dx is equal to negative 1 over cosine x. So dividing by sine over cosine means we really multiply by cosine over sine. And so what happens here is we get some cancellations. So we get negative 1 over sine. And that's just negative cosecant of x. Really nice solution, right? So I'm glad we kept going and, you know, I didn't give up here. Um, kind of nice. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.